don't let anybody distract you from your goals, not even your friends. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jordan, and welcome back to another what the, what the, what the video. Okay, so school has started for most, a lot of people, and I hope you guys are having a good year to start off with. School started in grades. There's a ton of grades, and I'm already getting my progress report like tomorrow. I know grades are our least favorite part of school. Like, I get good grades, but I don't like receiving a grade. I'm like, ooh, so nervous, nerve wracking. So today I'm gonna tell you some study hacks and how to get straight A's. So let's get into it. Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da. My first tip is to try to sit in the front of the, like the classroom instead of sitting all the way in the back where you're just ch -ch 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 chattering. If you sit in the front, you would definitely not talk as much because the teacher right in front of you and you don't want to get in trouble. I hope you don't want to get in trouble. My second tip is to make a schedule and have time management because you don't just want to be studying, 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 studying all day long because at some point your brain is going to reach um, its maximum of how much it can hold and it's just going to start forgetting all the rest you're putting into it. So you want to make sure you have a set time limit each day so you don't overwork yourself. I do recommend you to get a, a planner. This is the planner I use. It's from the Happy Planner. I have a, a student planner so it has like all this student teens in it. Super cute, super adorable. And you can have fun writing in it and it will really help you keep track of all of your stuff to know when you have to do something and where it is. What you can also do is set a schedule for yourself like what are you gonna do after school, how long are you gonna study for, um, when you're gonna do your chores and stuff like that to really help you know what you're gonna do before you're gonna go to bed. Balance is key. If you know you have a test, say, on Friday, you want to study at least 10 to 15 minutes every day so at the end of the week you're not overloading yourself and going crazy because, yeah, you want to get good grades, but make sure you don't overload yourself like crazy and just everything you do is about the grade like you don't have any time for yourself because that can be really stressful. You want to create homeostasis. Homeostasis is the balance inside of our body and in all living things. You want to have homeostasis inside your body because if you did, everything would be off balance. So inside our body, our body helps us create homeostasis. Everything is balanced and perfect. Word of the day. Number three. So you want to find out what type of learner you are. If you like to stay motivated and you like groups because they help you keep on track, then try to work in a group and get a study group. Or if you know that you're, you want to work by yourself because it could really help you focus and put your task on one a thing, then work by yourself. But also don't work in a group if you know you're just going to goof off and not really get your work done because you won't get any work done. And what's the point of having a study group if you're not studying? So just make sure you're with your friends or people that you know you can focus with. And if you're by yourself, make sure you're studying by yourself and not just, you know, doing random things like tic tac and your piss or whatever you guys do in your meantime. My next tip is to a color code and have some highlighters handy. You want to color code because if you just write a whole page of notes and you go to open it back up, you'll be like, okay, what is happening? You won't know where to find the infinite information you need or what you're looking at or where to start. So if you color code, you can use something like yellow, it's for dates, and orange is for names or stuff like that. So if you need a date, you look at yellow. If you need a name, you look at orange. So it's easier for you to find things quickly and efficiently. You also want to write dates on your notes just to keep in track and keep in order because you won't know when your teacher says, oh, go to the dates go to the day October 25th because that's the day we took the notes on that you need for this test. You won't know, you be like, oh, I don't know what that is. I have, uh, I don't know. 
have too many papers. So it would just help you keep it organized. Also, when you know something's coming up or you have to do something, review your notes nightly. Don't wait till the last minute to go do all your notes. <laughs> You also want to create some type of flashcard so, or something you can like quick and study it, you test yourself on it. Or you can do little paper flashcards. I got these from a UB or you don't even have to use paper. You can really just use Quizlet. That's a really good place. You can type in all your own things and then test yourself on it. Quizlet is like an app for flashcards. So you can make your own mini test before your big test. My next tip is do the extra credit work if you can. So if your teacher has something for extra credit and you want to get a little higher grade on whatever that subject is, just do it. And say your teacher gives you an opportunity to retake a test. You should definitely retake a test. Don't just sit there like, mm, mm, it's, it's all right, it's okay. Because if you retake it, you can get a higher grade and that will boost it maybe to a B, C, A, whatever you had. It would probably boost it. And you might have to sacrifice, you know, hanging out with your friends for one day to go take a test. But it's priorities. Do you want to have an A or just not have your friends for one day but you'll see them right after? Which one do you so like me, I recently took a science quiz and I got a C on it, but I had to sacrifice hanging out with my friends because I could retake it and I wanted to retake it to get a better grade and I got 100%. You want to make sure you prioritize what is important to you. So if getting good grades is important to you, you have to put the work in and if you don't care about grades, then I don't know what to tell you and why you on this video on how to get straight A's if you don't care. My next tip is make sure you eat, drink, sleep. Give your time self to rest. You just don't want to cram everything into your brain because getting good grades isn't just about studying. You also want to take good care of yourself so you can get better grades. So you make sure that you get have a good sleeping schedule, make sure you're eating nutritious things, make sure you're drinking water, water self, water. It's about being healthy from the inside out. When your body's healthy, your brain is healthy, when your brain is healthy, you get good grades. Sometimes you might need a tutoring and that's okay. You'd rather speak up than just sit in silence and let your grades suffer. So talk to somebody about getting tutoring to get help and they'll help you. There's no judgment in it. So you have to just learn to ask for help and there's no problem in asking for help because we won't get everything right off the bat. That is something that I have to learn myself because I thought that if I didn't know something, there was something wrong with my brain and I was crazy, but that's not true. So ask your teachers, ask your parents. It's way better than just suffering and silence. So just ask for help and your grades will really benefit from it. Okay, you also want to give it your 100% best. Wait, I think I broke the angle. How that even happen? You also want to give it your 100% best because you don't want to just give it like 50 or 40 and be like, why am I barely passing this class? Well, because you're not giving it your all. You want to give it your all on everything because you don't know if it's going to be graded or not or if you know it's going to be graded. I hope you're giving it your all because that won't make sense. You also want to stop disliking your teacher because if you just like somebody, you don't want to listen to them. Say you don't like somebody and they try to tell you something, you're like, why are you talking to me? And the teacher is the same. If you don't like their, your teacher and they're trying to tell you information, you're going to be annoyed by every little thing they say. So try to find something good in them, even if they're like a little bit meaner than some other teachers or you really just don't like them for whatever reason. Try to find something good about them 
to at least listen to them. Another tip is don't let people distract you from your goals because sometimes our friends have different goals than the, us and different priorities. And sometimes we have to say, no, can't hang out right now because this is important and I have to get this done. And we have to make sacrifices sometimes and put our priorities first. So don't let anybody distract you from your goals, not even your friends. And my last tip is don't just study to get a good grade on a test. Study because you actually want to learn and you think knowledge is important and you just don't think that it's all about a letter or whatever you get. Because school is about gaining knowledge and not just about a letter grade. I hope these tips help you guys get better grades in school, help you do better in school, help you focus, and all that good stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Do all that fun stuff. All that fun stuff. And I'll see you guys next time.